Who's more intimidating? This guy? Oh, I think it's this guy. Great fans, today I got in some action figures, some Transformers, in still in the packages. The packages aren't in the best shape. I did get a loose Transformer, and of course the Iron Sheik is watching over everyone as he always does. Now, most of these are Transformers. This one looks like a, perhaps it was a return. And this one, it's Bumblebee. Probably the coolest thing to transform into. Now, which is worth the most? Now, this is going to be the oldest. This is from 1984. He's not a Transformer, but he is the Iron Sheik. And this is actually an eraser. You would buy these. It was part of a collection, and he's an eraser. So he is kind of rubber like the LJNs. He is cool. If he had a mistake, the Iron Sheik could take care of it. These didn't survive a lot because they were actually, if you took this to school and you had this, he said, put that away. He said, this is my eraser. I am the Iron Sheik. I think that's cool, and I know a guy named Sean who loves to erase stuff. So that's the Iron Sheik. He's from 1984. This is from 2005, and I also got an interesting a PBR. What's PBR? It's Professional Bull Riders. They actually have action figures, but they're micro icons. Now they even have cards. They will put out cards for anything. They have cards for the bull. That is Yellow Jacket. The, the, the bull has a card, which I find interesting. There's a guy there. He is a bull rider. He's doing different things. This is, this is interestingly enough, it's magnetic, so you can pose him to do different things. He's, there's an action stand. You can pose the bull. Um, you can see the different riders. I couldn't name any of the riders. That is a very dangerous sport. I, I don't think I would want to do it. I, it's, it's a great sport because who thought of it? PBR, they also have their action figures. Is that worth any money? I don't know. Now, he's, he's rubber like the LGNs. I also did get another action figure. And this, of course, is the King of Pop. This is Michael Jackson from 1984. This is the Thriller album. This is by LGN. He doesn't have his glove. He has, he has, he has his cool sparkly socks. The glove is missing. And it looks like his pants are on backwards. Oops, Michael. Well, yep. So, let's go over the Transformers. This is from 2012, 2010. Um, basically came out when the movies came out. And they're newer. They're not the old one, the 80s ones. You know, even this one. I, I have had some of the older ones. There's nothing more fun than watching a 45-year-old man who's a lawyer try to put these things together they are very tough this is this is a semi truck he's cool he's not going to be worth the most but he still looks good but the iron sheik looks better so this these this is basically the same size these are the beast hunters this is predacon ripper snapper he's he has a lek electro charge bow which sounds so cool this this box is actually horrible that's what he transforms into but he does have a bow. If you've got a bow, he's in the cyber year, cyber verse. He is Legion class, series three. So that's that's interesting. But these these two are right around the ten dollar range. I mean, this box is horrible. Let's look at this one. This one looks like almost like a return. It looks like it's still in the box, like it's supposed to be. But this follows the movie Fall of Cybertron. Um, Decepticons ravage and rumble. See the hoods there. Very cool. Now these, these transform into strange things. They do have data discs. That's what we saw in those purple things. Um, Ravage rarely speaks, but when he does, it's often only to recite some worn piece of Decepticon dogma. I don't know what that is. Pops into robot mode. These are not as tough as some of the older ones, but you can see that they... They do have, they can auto-convert, and they can pop into robot mode. So this is, these are a little bit better generations. Are these worth the most? These are for ages 5 and plus, so they're not that tough. This is Transformer. Now this is Bumblebee. High octane Bumblebee. Bumblebee probably, if I was going to be a Transformer, I would want to transform into a Camaro. There's nothing like being a muscle car. It's cool. There he is, and there he is as a muscle car. He can hide and disguise himself 
as a supercharged muscle car. But that symbol kind of gives it away. I don't think I'd want to be a dinosaur. I think I would want to be a Camaro, but that's just me. So that one, these aren't going to be worth. Now that one could be worth some money. Iron Sheik, we're just going to set him down here. Uh, PBR, PBR. If the, if you can get fifteen dollars for this, they are unique. They are cool. They do have little action figures, and the bull is probably just as famous. Now, trans. This Bumblebee, even though he is cool, he is not one of the most expensive. It's right around twenty bucks. Transformers Mech Tech. Now this is level two, and this is also level two, so it's intermediate. So it's probably still hard. This is part of the Beast Hunters, and this is Dark of the Moon. It's, it, these are all follow the movies here, and this is what he looks like as a robot. He does have a cool laser hand blaster, double barrel cannon. It, it looks like he transformed into like a little <laughs> Chevy, whatever, and it. And it a Chevy Spark concept mode, which, hey, it's fuel efficient. I don't know what robots run on, but it's fuel efficient. I'm guessing all robots are electronic cars, so maybe that's what that is. So it's a Chevy Spark. You can go to the different things, and General Motors, of course, runs that one. It is a cool car. It does, it does display well. Beast Hunters Level 2, like I said, this is Hyena Cannon. It's a vertebrake. Uh, Predacon. That means this transforms into a hyena. Doesn't sound that exciting to me, but that's just me. There he is. He's a hyena. Transformer. I'd still rather be a Camaro, but I'm not in charge. I'm not a vertebrate. I am not a transformer. So this particular one, you can look for all your favorite robots, but that's what he looks like. And then he transforms into a hyena, which isn't that much different. So he's not as hard. Now, one of these, now the Iron Sheik, the Iron Sheik, he, he's about 20 bucks, but he's, he's, I, I don't know, he's priced, he's got both the muscles there. He's cool. Transformer, auto, bot, skids. Is this worth the most? Sorry, Camaro. It's not you. Is it the electronic car or is it the hyena? Car or hyena? Well, if you guess the Beast Hunter Transformer Prime, the Hyena, the Hyena Cannon, this is actually trending at about $60. $60 in the package, which is actually worth more than some of the original Transformers that are not in the package. So if you see these, they are cool. They can bring some money, but if you have 60 even if these are worth $10 a piece, you still have $50. This is worth probably worth more than all of them. Um, so... Take a look. You can see some of these things. It doesn't matter. It's usually the odd one turning into a hyena. It doesn't sound like I would rather turn into a Camaro, but the hyena is actually worth the most. Uh, PBR is not going to be worth the most, but no one is cooler than a racer like the Iron Sheik. Thanks for watching. Share, like, subscribe, or I'll send the Iron Sheik to erase you.